Are you gonna cover Chili De Castro? Yes, I'm actually working on something for that right now. Um, yes, I will, especially because he's in Ohio, and I have a idea that he's very likely going to be incarcerated in the state of Ohio at some point coming up, whether it's locally in a jail or part of the Ohio Department of Real Rehabilitations and Corrections. Chili DeCastro is America's new hope. Software developer, TV executive, real estate tycoon, MMA fighter, auditor, GHB dealer, stalker, and most importantly, constitutional law scholar. But what is a constitutional law scholar? Basically, he's a sovereign citizen pseudo-lawyer. He thinks that by using Wikipedia, Google, and YouTube, he could run rings around the legal system and usher in his own version of what he views society should abide by, which is nonsense. I don't have any more education than anybody here. I have a, 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 a education from Google and YouTube. I don't know anything more than anybody else. I just know what I learned online, and then I connected the dots of all those different things. And like many sovereign citizens, he's a scam artist, and he sells many weird things such as a civil rights guide that actually doesn't help you defend your civil rights, various legal forms that are once again made by a non-lawyer who uses Wikipedia and Google, fundraising scams, and whatever the fuck this thing is supposed to be. I mean, really, it's, it's crazy and it's weird. I don't get it. With that being said, Chili is a gold mine of stupidity and hilarity, and he uses his YouTube channel, Delete Laws, to showcase how smart he is. I have on the back of my shirt, you can't see it, but I'm a constitutional law scholar, case law scholar. I'm, I've been doing this for 20 years. Now you just meet me because I'm a constitutional law scholar and I understand the basis, the fundamental of law. He says I can call him good citizen. Or you can call me constitutional scholar, or you can call me guy who files lawsuits. He did that. You know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not just a YouTuber. I'm a constitutional law scholar. I understand the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, very well. He also showcases his obsession with buttholes and homoeroticism. I don't want him to be to have to show his butthole to a stranger. So maybe looking up people's butts not working? I, maybe looking up people's butts isn't improving in life for anybody? Because I'm not going to let anybody look up my ass. It's not going to happen. It won't, it won't happen. Listen, hey, I, hey, hey just, just hey, so you know, hey. I would be on top. You'll be on top? Yeah, you want to oh, call okay. me, sweetie? Yeah, sweetie. I, 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 would, I would hold you, you down you and that? fuck hey, you guy, right in the ass. He wants to fuck me in the ass. You, I'm not bending over and showing some strange man my butthole. That's not going to happen. I'll never do it. And his dislike for the police. Oh, you, you the one who calls me telling me some cops are good? Is that you? No, they're not. They signed up to be Nazis, dude. Is, is that why we got the notification today that they were going to try to set me up? Only problem is, you dirty pigs, I don't break the law. I'm for the law. Go because fuck yourself. I can say anything I want. I'm just asking you. Go fuck yourself you. and go fuck yourself. And fuck you and fuck you. And fuck you. You could say he has a spectrum of issues. Yes, a spectrum. I would love to be able to tell you that he's got some sort of overarching plan. But in reality, it's just a bunch of stupidity. But I'm going to do my best to explain it. Chili views himself as a civil libertarian who waxes on and on about the social contract as though he had only spent two weeks in an intro to philosophy class. And so what happens is, is we say, okay, we're going to live under a social contract. Now, John Locke didn't just write natural law. He also wrote a social contract. The social contract that we all live under the rule of law. So did Jean-Jacques Rousseau. So did Kant. So there's just multiple people who wrote social contracts. It later, guess who will write a social contract? A guy named Karl Marx. You've heard of Marxism, socialism, right? And weirdly enough, one of his favorite philosophers is the French Enlightenment philosopher Jean-Jacques Rousseau. Now, this is going to create our social contract here, and it's not going to be based on Hobbes' social contract. 
it's going to be based on Rousseau's social contract. Federal Republic that, by the way, Jean-Jacques Rousseau said no. Jean-Jacques Rousseau, whose social contract we're supposed to live under, he said no, no, no. He said keep it small, uh, um, homogenous groups of people and sit around and talk about democracy. Now, this is a PSA for everybody. Don't be a fan of Rousseau. Sure, he may seem neat, and all the cool kids are quoting him as they're popping and locking and smoking in the bathroom. Nerd! But his ideas lead to a state that controls all persons and property in order to support the general will. Today, we're going to talk about nerds. Not us, but the bad kind. It is this general will where the people decide as a majority how the state enacts policy. Eventually, if you follow Rousseau to its logical conclusion, you end up with the majority never being wrong, as the majority itself dictates how the state exercises its power. But yet, a democratic institution that controls all people and property. Sounds kind of communist, doesn't it? Well, maybe social democratic whatever you want to call it, but yes, it's very collectivist and bound to fail. No! So that brings us to the point of what is Chile's ideal government? Well, if you guessed a techno-fascist hellscape, you got it right. For Chile, you need to understand that he wants no more police. Instead, he wants transparency. And transparency you end up with officers who wear cameras on their heads. Imagine a world that the way you identified what authority was, was by what they were wearing on their head. And just imagine for just a moment, if you could just imagine, imagine that behind these lenses, there was cameras that went out in six different directions. And what do they do? They record everything all the time. And they're on every corner to respond to any incidents of crime. Yes, a man who claims to be a civil libertarian wants police on every corner recording all the time. Not sure how surveillance state becomes libertarian, but once again, we're dealing with a moron. So what happens after you commit a crime or are you accused of committing a crime in Chile's hellscape? Well, you get put on a double-decker bus. I'm sure that's going to go well with all the 11-foot-8 bridges out there in America. It's on this bus that you'll meet a judge and then you'll be sent upstairs for re-education. Yes, once again, the civil libertarian. You're going to face a drumhead court-martial. And then you're going to be re-educated. And then you got classes going on up here for these guys who beat their wives. And then you got classes over here for, for people who did burglary. And you have classes, and then you got the punch room down here. Ah, uh, I guess I really want to ask Chili, um, you know, that Fourth Amendment thing you were talking about on your uh, big spaz map. And then the Fifth Amendment. And then, you know, the Sixth Amendment. Um, where did they all go? So at the end of the day, what is Chile De Castro really? He's a lol cow. It's somebody we could milk for entertainment and fun. Because he's clearly crazy. And I am thankful to the God above that none of this that he has planned is ever going to happen. I hope. So that's it for today, guys. You know, I know there's a lot of serious things going on, and we're going to get into more serious topics coming up, but Chili's been something that's been going on for a while, and it's very hilarious to watch him fail and screw up and act like a lunatic on a daily basis. And if you guys want me to cover him more, certainly let me know below, because I probably will, because this is just, you know, scratching the littlest of the surface of what is Chili to Castro. So guys, please like, share, subscribe, and remember until next time, just because you did it doesn't mean you're guilty.